female in her 60s presents with a cough after a long-standing history of weight loss and upper abdominal pain. What's the diagnosis? Let's go through the case. Firstly, we can see patchy consolidation within the left lower zone, suggesting an underlying pneumonia, which could be behind the acute presentation. Now, we've missed off the left claustrophenic angle on the initial film, so we have a second x-ray that shows us the left hemidiaphragm is lost, suggesting consolidation involved the left lower lobe. Now, don't stop there. Have a look behind the heart in the retrocardiac region, and we can see the outline of an opacity within the left lower zone. I like to invert the film to make sure my eyes aren't deceiving me, and here we can see the outline of a lesion. Now we have a comparison film from three years prior, and we can see at this time there was no consolidation and there was nothing behind the heart. But what could this retrocardiac opacity represent? Given the consolidation we can see at the left lung base, this could mean that this represents another focus of consolidation. Alternatively, this could be a separate mass relating to a primary lung cancer. A hiatus hernia is a common cause of retrocardiac opacity, but here you'd expect the opacity to extend from the diaphragm and you commonly see an air fluid level. Posterior mediastinal lesions such as nerve sheath tumours can present as retrocardiac opacity, but here you may expect not to see the vertebrae and I think we can just over here. Let's have a look at the subsequent CT scan. Here we have a central mass accounting for the retrocardiac opacity that we could see on the chest x-ray. By the time of the CT, the consolidation had resolved, however we can see separate lung nodules within the left lung that weren't apparent on the x-ray. We can also see a mass within the upper abdomen closely related to the stomach. This peripheral nodule could be seen under ultrasound and was biopsied by radiologists. This confirmed the diagnosis of small cell lung cancer, with the abdominal mass presumed to represent a metastatic deposit rather than a separate cancer. Small cell lung cancer is a highly aggressive subtype of primary lung cancer and accounts for about a fifth of all lung cancers. There is a strong association with smoking and most arise centrally adjacent to a lobar or main bronchus. There can be florid mediastinal node enlargement. Over 60% present with metastatic disease at the time of diagnosis and unfortunately given their central nature and tendency to metastasize, surgery is not usually an option and prognosis is poor. Brain involvement is commonly seen, and in this case, an MRI of the brain with gadolinium contrast shows multiple small enhancing metastases. Given the difficulty in treating later stage disease, it's really important to try and be vigilant on chest x-ray for any abnormalities that, that could represent a central tumour and small cell lung cancer.